A good amount of clouds across the entire region. Here's a view from nine different locations. OK, well, more like eight. As we look at our Ashley Home Store camera network, nine different TVs, eight shots. Marion, the top left there, UVA wise, lots of clouds. Same thing, Elizabethan. Still some clouds down there across Sullivan County. And as we look towards Bristol and into Johnson City, more of the same. Just lots of clouds all across the area. Here's a view, though with a few less clouds. This is Tuslem University, one of our newest weather cameras in our network, and you can see there temperatures right now hovering in the 60s thanks to those clouds clearing out just a little bit and that sunshine returning to the area. Let's show you the satellite and radar. We can take this full and I'll show you as we look across the area. Most of the rain has impacted just parts of southwest Virginia this afternoon, moving away from a lot of northeast Tennessee. What's going on here is known as downsloping. It's where the winds come over the mountains, dry out the air. That's what's going on in Greene County, where you saw earlier a little bit of a clearing through Greene County into Cock County, where those winds were a little stronger, had some high wind warnings. In effect, those have been canceled. We take a wider view and big swirling area low pressure, right? And along that, some showers and thunderstorms developing across central and southern Tennessee. Some severe storms into parts of Alabama. You can see the lightning with this, though. This is going to move up north and east towards our region. I don't think it'll be as strong as it pushes into our area, but some scattered light rain showers possible through the next couple of hours and into the early part of the overnight. Let's say generally kind of as we get towards the 8 to 11 o'clock time frame tonight, that'll be when our highest rain chances are. Temperatures in the 50s eventually dropping down into the 40s for overnight lows. Mostly cloudy skies across the area tonight. We will see some more sunshine, though, as we head into the day on Sunday, and that will allow for us to warm up into the 60s, a little warmer than today. Upper 50s for the mountains of North Carolina, low 60s into the Tennessee mountains, and we'll probably sneak into the mid 50s across much of northeast Tennessee. Southwest Virginia, a couple degrees cooler, low to mid 60s there for your Sunday. But boy, we've got a big warming trend on the way with lack of rain coming our way over the next couple of days. It's going to heat up way beyond those 60s. Today picked up uh, almost two tenths of an inch of rain so far at the airport as the official amounts rainfall this month now over one inch. Rainfall totals here over the next couple of days going to be pretty light, but we get into Wednesday a spotty shower possible mainly late into the day and into the overnight. Thursday higher chance for rain as we go into the end of the week as a cold front approaches. Let's talk about that weather maker and the timing of this system. Right now we're watching the system approaching us on Wednesday and it looks like the main axis of moisture is going to become a little bit slower to work into our region. So we are looking at Thursday into Friday right now. This is kind of late Thursday night or early Thursday night, I should say, into Friday morning. If we can get the front to clear out faster, we'll have a pretty nice day on Friday. If it were to slow down a little bit, we could see some rain showers on Friday. So still a little uncertainty here in the rainfall percentages later on in the week. Temperatures, though, do look cooler. Friday and into next weekend. Rainfall amounts with this system looking to be about a quarter of an inch to one inch across the region. 60% chance of those showers on Thursday, 40% into Friday. Note those cooler temperatures relatively, at least from the 80s, upcoming into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, back into the 70s with some spots in the upper, 50, upper 60s, Friday and into Saturday of next week.